Happy Monday! Welcome back to another grocery haul. This week I went to Sam's Club and HEB, the same places I go every week. What's new? Uh, so every week I kind of focus on something that uh, is lacking here in the house. You guys know, or if you've seen any of my previous videos, I like to stock up on things. And so even if we don't necessarily need it this week, I'll stock up on certain items depending on what's going on. So last week I really focused on lunch essentials and things like that. And this week it's kind of weird, kind of odd, but I focused on beverages. Um, I am so tired, <laughs> I am so tired of hearing my family say what's there to drink and me saying there's really nothing. There's milk or water, that's it. And it's kind of my own fault because I don't purchase a lot of beverages and when I do, they go so fast. Like that's why I buy the baby's apple juice in bulk because everybody drinks it so fast. But we also have a pretty small refrigerator and we do not have a second refrigerator, um, which is in our goals. Also having a bigger pantry is in our goals, but until then we have to work with what we have. So it's really hard for me to stock up on any type of beverages because we don't have that second refrigerator to really like, if I had a second refrigerator, girl, I would be stocked up, but I don't. So I kind of have to work with what I have. But with it being baseball season and James being really busy with work and just like I said, having the issue of never having anything to drink, I kind of focused on a lot of beverages this week. I do have in our stock like Kool-Aid mixes and lemonade mixes, but I really don't like to make those either because they're super sugary. So I got some kind of locale options for James and myself and of course the kids are always willing to drink whatever. Um, I did get them some of their regular beverages as well, but that's not all I got. I also got, you know, our weekly groceries, but I just wanted to let you know you're going to be seeing a lot of beverages because I don't normally buy them, so I wanted to try to focus on that this week. Let me show you guys the meal plan. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote the meal plan out on my fridge calendar. I've shared these before. They're just the Mason West brand, and I purchased the entire set on Amazon last year. Um, so on Monday, which is today, we're gonna be having chicken tacos. We didn't actually eat those last week, so I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to this week. And I just put uh, a, like two to three chicken breasts in my Instant Pot with a package of taco seasoning and a can of Rotel, and that makes really good chicken tacos. And then we're gonna be having cornbread pie. I saw this on TikTok, and my mom used to make it for us when we were little, so I thought I'd give that a try. On Wednesday, we're gonna be having steak and potatoes. On Thursday, so Thursdays have gotten pretty tricky for us because Reagan has soccer and baseball. So I'm just gonna be doing frozen pizzas and wings and some salad. And then the rest of the weekend, we pretty much just wing it. A lot of the times we're eating out because of baseball. Or if I get a chance, I'll make sandwiches or some tuna salad, um, chicken salad, things like that. Uh, I made some fideo, just whatever's quick and easy. That's why I like to have a lot of extra stuff on hand too that's not necessarily in the meal plan so that if I need to make a quick meal, there are options and we don't have to eat out. All right guys, we are gonna start on our Sam's Club side. I got our package of water that I normally get. It's 45 of them and uh, the kids take these to school as well as James drinks them throughout the day. This is something different. So I got the Powerade Zero. Um, we prefer the Gatorade Zero, but the Gatorade Zero at Sam's Club are the mini ones, and that will just not do for my husband. So I went ahead and just picked up this pack of Powerade. I know he likes these um, flavors, so it'll work out. It's the Fruit Punch, the Mixed Berry, and the Grape. He does prefer the Gatorade Zero Sugar Berry okay, flavor. so I decided to come on this side of the table because it was just weird that you guys were looking at it upside down. It was bothering me. So the next thing I got was the Diet Green Tea. This has no, no carbs, uh, no sugars, and only five calories, which is also a really great option, and we love the way this tastes. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of that. Uh, the Kool-Aid jammers I got for the kids, they don't necessarily need them. I hide them and bring them out only when I think it's appropriate. <laughs> 
anybody with a ton of kids knows <laughs> knows my pain with that because if you don't hide it it'll be gone so this is something new to Sam's and new to me I have tried the bubbly regular one uh, from I think I picked it up at a Target one time and it was surprisingly really good so this is actually called bubbly bounce and it's caffeinated sparkling water so it has about 35 milligrams of caffeine I thought that would be perfect in the afternoons after I pick up the kids sometimes I feel like I need coffee but I don't necessarily want coffee so I thought that would that this would be a great option for like a little afternoon pick-me-up the flavors also sounded really really good too we have we have blueberry pomegranate we have mango passion fruit and triple berry so I thought that was really fun and I'm actually really excited to use that um the other beverage options will be on the HEB side so let me show you guys what else I got from Sam's Club I love to pick up the nature's own honey wheat from there you get two loaves for like four dollars I believe four twenty something so that's a really good deal of course you guys know I had to get my rotisserie chicken last week I made chicken pot pie with it and this week I'm going to make myself some chicken salad because if you guys saw last week's haul you know James is like I don't like that chicken he still ate it but I'm gonna make chicken salad for myself because it's so so good with that chicken uh, I made all of our tuna not all of it but I made like eight cans of the 12 pack so I went ahead and stocked up on that just to have on hand <gasps> shoot you guys it's supposed to be in water I'm gonna have to take this back that sucks because we definitely won't eat that so that's going back but oh well I tried um surprising find not surprising find surprising purchase yesterday when we were at baseball we went to the concession stand and Reagan bought this and he was like I love those things I had no clue at all so I went ahead and picked up the whole box for him so he can have those as a nice snack and then these are Camila's absolute favorite fruit snacks they are the members mark fruit snacks and they're actually really really good the next thing I picked up are these mix and match Doritos um, I got the nacho cheese and the cool ranch those are just to have on hand in case we have sandwiches or something like that and then I also got the members mark wavy classic potato chips um, this price, the price at Sam's is way better than the price at HEB, so I went ahead and got those. Here is the option for spicy chips. If you remember last week, I was telling you that there are no spicy chips. The only thing that sucks is, like, half of these, like, I don't know who's going to eat those spicy sweet chili chips. Maybe Dane. And then ch more chili cheese Fritos. We already have a ton of those, and these aren't necessarily my kids' favorites. But it did come with 16 of the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. They are the smaller packs, 50 of them. So I went ahead and picked up that box this week. And the last thing I got at Sam's was this 8-pack of Velveeta Shells and Cheese. It was on sale, I believe, regular $14, and it was like $12. So that is going to complete my Sam's haul this week. Now we are going to move on to HEB. So I went ahead and had these beverages lined up over here. This is the sparkling water I was talking about last week. I really like the coconut. Some of the rotisserie chicken <laughs> spilled onto this box and that's why it is broken apart like that. I got four of the cotton candy bang. This is James's favorite. He took one right now. We were out of coffee creamer if you guys remember me talking about that during the vlog. This is... um. James's absolute favorite. It's the cinnamon vanilla cream. It's actually really good. It reminds me of Christmas time. He actually drinks it year round. There were not very many sugar free options, which is totally a bummer. So I ended up getting the sugar free Italian sweet cream. I've never tried this before. I've never even tried sweet cream, Italian sweet cream. So we'll see how that goes. But this was the only, it was either this or hazelnut. So I thought I'd try that out. Oh, I'm lying. There was a coconut cream, and I just felt like coconut in my coffee would be weird, so I didn't get it. If you've tried the coconut cream, let me know, and let me know if you liked it or not. So I got two gallons of 2% milk, one thing of almond milk for my smoothies. We're going to get back to smoothies, friends. Uh, one thing of Sunny D for Reagan. He will literally drink that in one day. I don't <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, see, and that's another reason I don't buy beverages because it's like I buy it and it's gone in one day. But I do still buy it, but they only have it for like a day. <laughs> so 
Uh, I got the three pound bag of these Gala apples, I believe. What are they? Washington apples. So whatever that is. And then uh, the little mandarin oranges for lunches. I got a five pound bag of russet potatoes. I'm going to be making ma loaded mashed potatoes with our steaks this week. And then here is the produce I picked up. Six cucumbers, we love cucumbers and they are in season so they're nice and pretty. Uh, a head of lettuce just for backup. A bag of carrots for some hummus that I picked up. These are the salads we will be having on Thursday night. They're just the classic Caesar salad kits. We all love that. One avocado for the chicken tacos tonight. And is that it for the produce? Looks like it. So we're gonna move on to the meats. I got two of these sausages. They're just the beef sausages. Um, this is one of those items that I tell you I pick it up just so we have it in case we wanna eat some sort of sausage dinner over the weekend, something that's quick and easy. This is the chorizo I buy, the Garcia chorizo for chorizo and egg. Uh, the lunch meat, the smoked turkey breast, and the, whoops, there's a bad glare, the smoked ham. That is the one my kids use. I also picked up just this basic pack of hot dogs. I was thinking maybe, I got the matching buns over there. Um, I was thinking maybe the kids can take a hot dog for lunch. I don't know if they'd like that or not. Um, it's all trial and error. <laughs> So I picked up a big bag of the uh, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese for chaffles mainly and tacos of course. Two things of the hot salsa, we go through this so fast so I went ahead and got two more. This is the hummus I picked up, it's the, ro oh, can we focus, there we go, it's the roasted red pepper hummus from HEB. I like this better than the Sabro, um, Sabra, what is it called, Sabra? I don't know what it's called, but only because it's a smaller portion and I'm literally the only one that eats it. So by the time I eat that other hummus, it goes bad because I don't really eat it very often. So I like that that one is smaller. The 24 pack of Kraft American Singles for sandwiches. Here is some ground beef that I will probably cut in half. How many pounds is this? Five pounds, yeah, I'll probably cut it in half. So 2.5 pounds for one meal and 2.5 pounds for another. This is funny, you guys. Um, do you guys remember having these popsicles as a kid? They're the ones that you break in half. I thought that was so funny. These were only 88 cents. So I got those just for a little treat for the kids. Uh, before I come over here to these snacky items, and I probably should have waited on that, let me show you guys what else I got for pantry restock. Two things of mayo. I was running low on mayo last night and I almost thought I was out and it kind of freaked me out. So I <laughs> went ahead and bought two more. And then uh, I wasn't sure if we had jelly, but I know the jelly in the fridge I threw, um, the two that were like James was working on were already all done. So I went ahead and threw those out. So I just picked up two more just in case. I got one thing of chicken broth and one thing of beef broth. I don't know if I need those, but I feel like I use them sometime during the week, so I just want to make sure that I have those on hand. Uh, popcorn for back stock. We have some. I think I might have picked some up last week. Did I? I don't remember, but I went ahead and got some more just because popcorn goes really fast. The lemonade um, packets for the water bottles. I picked up this Polar Blast ones for the water bottles, and I also picked up these raspberry green tea ones for water bottles. And then Cammy's apple juices were on sale this week, so I just went ahead and picked up another pack, even though I had gotten two packs last week, just to make sure we have some on hand. Uh, I got James these three, or myself, whoever wants to eat them, Quest Bars. We have the chocolate peanut butter, the oatmeal chocolate chip, and the white chocolate raspberry. These are really good and come out low carb by the time you subtract the dietary fiber for a protein bar okay for a protein bar the carbs are not that bad so cuz most protein bars have high carbs and then i needed just some classic olive oil so i went ahead and picked up just the HEB brand olive oil two cans of spam james hasn't had spam in quite a while so i went ahead and got him that I picked up this big thing of the Too Good Vanilla. Um, I have one in there, but I wasn't sure if it was going to expire or not. So I went ahead and picked up another one. Does yogurt freeze, I wonder? 
I'm not going to try it, but I'm just wondering if it freezes because I might not need this one. Or maybe I'll just have to drink a lot of smoothies this week. Uh, I picked up a bag of ZD that all the pasta was on sale for 88 cents. So I just picked up the ZD just to put in the pantry. Here are the hot dog buns I talked about. Of course, our HEB flour tortillas are life. If you're not having those tortillas, what are you even doing with yourself? Uh, <laughs> I picked up the mini bagels for the girls. They take those for lunch sometimes. Three bags of chicharrones uh, for low-carb snack. I said that like all hardcore, right? Uh, chili lime flavored. And then I got the hot and spicy. And then I got the barbecue. And they're all really good. So the only non-food items I got this week were three items. I got uh, this pomegranate skin softener H-E-B um, dish soap. And then I went ahead and got this Dawn uh, Platinum Power dish soap to clean my rug. You guys will see in the next vlog that Kyla spilt some red stuff all over my brand new rug. So I went ahead and picked that up for that. And then I got this Clean Freak uh, cleaning. Everybody's talking about this because of this little Mr. Bottle and all that. And they say it smells good. So I just went ahead and picked it up. And then once this is all out, I will have the bottle for, get this, bleaching t-shirts. Yes, that's the only reason I picked that up. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to part two of the grocery haul. Now, the grocery haul you guys saw before this was last week, and this is this week's. So this one's just a little fill-in haul for the meal plan this week. I will show you guys what we're eating, and then I'll show you guys what I got today. All right, so here is this week's grocery plan, or what? Meal plan. Once again, using my Amazon calendar situation. Mason West is the brand. We are going to be having beef tips over rice. I found this on a TikTok, which was in my vlog yesterday. Cornbread pie we didn't eat last week, so I'm going to try this week. I keep kind of putting this off because I feel like my family's not going to like it. We shall see. Uh, chicken sheet pan meal also found on TikTok. We'll see how that goes. And carne y papas. It's like steak and potatoes Mexican style also found on TikTok. So this week's meal plan is brought to you by TikTok. So if you ever need a meal idea, just type in dinner ideas and there's like a billion TikTok videos. Right, we're gonna start over here with our produce. I did get some spinach for my smoothies. Um, my spinach went bad that I had in the freezer. I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze this one right away. A lot of the times I'll just wait till it's about to go bad and freeze it, which is what I did last time. And little did I know, some of the bottom pieces were already bad, so it, it made my smoothies taste gross last week. So this bag is actually gonna go right into the freezer. Um, I got one onion, some serranos, these tomatillos. Okay, you guys, this is my first time ever buying tomatillos, and it'll be my first time ever cooking with them. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't know how to pick them. How do you know which ones? Like, this is really small, so... Is it still good? I don't, yeah, it looks good to me. So I didn't know what I was doing with that. If you guys have any tips or advice on picking tomatillos, please let me know in the comments down below. I also got two bushels of cilantro. I got one really pretty tomato. This is for that carne papas. Like, it's like a whole little sauce you make for it. So I'm gonna try that. I'm actually really excited for that. Three cucumbers, so cucumbers are in season right now, which sucks because they're like 60 cents each. And normally they're like, you know, three for whatever or whatever the case may be. But as soon as they go into season here in San Antonio, I feel like that's kind of expensive. I mean, not, you know what I mean? Like for a vegetable, I don't know, 60 cents, like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. That just seems kind of high. Of course, I still buy them because we love them, but you know, it's kind of dumb. Anyways, I just got two potatoes because I have some from last week, so this will be for that meal just in case I needed them. I got this big five-pound bag of the red potatoes. I do not need this mini potatoes. It's for the sheet pan meal, but it was just way cheaper to buy them this way than to buy them any other way. So I just went ahead and got the five-pound bag. I figured we can use these in breakfast tacos or, I don't know, figure out another meal to use them for. And then um, a head of lettuce. You can never go wrong with a head of lettuce. I always have like two or three on hand. 
Red grapes were on sale this week, so I went ahead and got those. It's been a really long time since the girls have had red grapes, so I think that'll be good. Are they red? Or are they called, yeah, red. I didn't know if they were purple or red, so. Uh, the normal lunch setup, I always get the H-E-B um, sliced cheese, Hill Country Fair, smoked ham, and smoked turkey. This is just what works for us. That's what we get. Um, let's see. I got one thing of the plain cream cheese. A lot of the times I will send the girls to school with a mini bagel. So I always like to have this on hand. This ranch packet is for that sheet pan meal. Um, you're actually going to season the chicken strips with this. So I thought that was really exciting. Uh, a big bag of cheese. I wasn't sure if we were out or not. So I figured if we still have a lot left, I could just throw this in the freezer until we're ready. All right. The other thing I got was our tortillas, which we get every week. Uh, for meat this week, I got this steak for the steak and potatoes. It's just like the Milanesa thin slice steak. I got two things of these beef tips. I don't know why I got two. I feel like one would feed our family because I don't have big eaters. Like this would be the girls and then us. It probably would have been fine, but I kind of felt like it wasn't enough. I don't know, so I got two. But then it's like I make too much. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Like my boys, it's a hit and a miss whether they're gonna eat a lot or not. So I did the same thing here. I got two packs of chicken tenders. I, what the problem is, is I feel like I need one and a half of each thing. Like, I probably need one and then just half of that. So, I'll probably have to freeze the rest of it, which I hate doing because then it ends up like, when do I ever use that? I'm not that type of person to go back in there and get like this many. But maybe I will. So, that is what I got for the meat. I needed to stock up on some canned goods. I prefer to get them from Sam's in bulk. But I was just not going to go to Sam's today, so I just got a few things that I needed. Uh, cream of mushroom is for the beef tip recipe, so I got two cans of that. I got four cans of cut green beans. We were just running low on these. I really need to get a big box of these from Sam's. This is something I have never purchased in my whole life. It's canned mushrooms. Um, yeah, so it goes in that beef tip recipe, so I had to figure out where they even had these. It was by like the canned carrots and stuff. So I got two of those for that recipe. I'll show you that in a minute. Six cans of the big tomato sauce. And then you guys look, I got 12 cans of the little tomato sauce and I didn't realize it was the no salt. Hold on, let it focus. I didn't realize it was the no salt added. I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to get that one. So now I just, I guess I have to add salt when I use these. I don't know, I got freaking 12 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm thinking maybe they always say that. No, because why wouldn't this one would say that? So I'm pretty sure I got the wrong ones. So that kind of stinks, but salt is something I can always add in. I decided to try this black ground pepper. Um, James loves pepper. He puts pepper on everything, tons of pepper, pepper on his sandwiches, like loves pepper. So uh, the McCormick pepper for six ounces was like five sixty-eight or something like this, and this was like a dollar more. But I feel like we really love this stuff, love to support our local businesses, so I figured that would be a good purchase. So I went ahead and got the black pepper. <laughs> I got two um, of these honey wheat. I like to get the Nature Zone from Sam's, and it's actually cheaper and I like that bread better, but when I don't go to Sam's, I do just support H-E-B and get the H-E-B brand. Honestly, that's what it's about for me. A lot of the times when I get the H-E-B stuff, I just love H-E-B. That's how we are here in Texas, okay? <laughs> um, I also picked up this variety pack. Also, once again, something that should have been purchased at Sam's. This is what laziness gets you. So this is a 28 pack of the, um, it's chocolate chip cookies, fudge stripe cookies, some other chocolate chip cookies, fruit snacks, and then the uh, Scooby-Doo. The kids needed something sweet uh, for their lunches, so I picked that up. Four beverages this week. We have, I'm even gonna pick up this apple juice, but they had, obviously we always, you know, we always get apple juice, so when you purchase an apple juice, you get this free strawberry kiwi splash, so I went ahead and picked one up for backup and got the free juice to go with it. I got two bangs, these are not our flavors. This one is the Power Punch, and this one is the Rainbow Unicorn. I already had to drink some of that. Normally we get cotton candy, but they didn't have it. Uh, two things of 2% milk, 
two gallons of 2% milk. I got two of the Gatorade Zero orange flavor and two of the Gatorade Zero white flavor just for James. I just realized he doesn't like the white, so maybe the boys will drink that. The 32 pack of drinking water as usual. You guys, this poor little watermelon has been rolling around in the back of my truck since Friday. We picked this up on Friday. Me and the girls were out doing some baby shower shopping and they wanted a watermelon. Look how cut up it is. It's been literally rolling back and forth in my truck. So I don't know if it's good anymore, but I went ahead and got it down and I'm gonna cut that open today. Moving on to our non-food items. Well, actually, let me go ahead and show you guys. I picked up these three things of candy for Camila's pre-K uh, Easter egg hunt. We got the Skittles, the Starburst, and then just some Hershey's miniatures. I picked up eggs for that at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna pack those tonight. They are supposed to be turned in tomorrow. Uh, I did pick up this one aluminum tray. It was just 97 cents. I got it for the no peak beef tips. You're supposed to set them in foil and cook them for three hours without opening it. So I just went ahead and got this one. I figured I could do it on one of my pans, but for 97 cents, I'm just going to put it in here. And then, like I said, the non-food items we have okay this is foca we've never bought this before but james wanted to try this as an alternative to the powdered tide he uses to wash his hands when he gets home so if you don't know my husband is a diesel mechanic tide is amazing for taking uh, stuff out of your fingernails off your hands blah 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 it's actually what i mop my floors with and all that but I guess a buddy of his recommended this one. This is just like the Mexican version, I'm assuming. So I'm hoping it's going to work out right because, you guys, this was like, I don't know, like maybe $4, $5, maybe less than $4. And you guys know Tide is so freaking expensive. Powdered Tide is way overpriced compared to all the other powdered detergents. So if this works, that is going to be a game changer. We shall see. And then um, I picked up just a conditioner. We have plenty of shampoos, but of course the girls run out of conditioner pretty early on. So I just picked up the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. And that completes my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this week and last week's grocery haul. Uh, sorry to get behind on you guys, but if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and we will see you guys next time. Bye.